what's up what's good what's going on family so let's jump in really quick and just check to see how the person on your mind let's look to see how they truly feel how do they feel about my lovely sagittarian i'm gonna go in and get a message of love first um guys this is gonna be for your sun moon rising north node venus as well as that ninth house very particular messages here on the manju awakening for the ninth house but even with that being said, family, just take what resonates and bless someone else with the like, just take what resonates. OK, y'all, the person, how do they how do they feel? What's the message of love? Reconciliation, baby. This is someone that is wanting to reconcile. Um, this is definitely someone that um, is desiring a reconciliation. This person is learning how to be more present here in the moment there's something magnetic about the connection that you have with this person but um the message of love here for this person how they really feel they really want a reconciliation someone from your past is or will be returning to your life soon so i i, I, I you know i definitely have spirit is saying no clarify with that so let me go in with this i definitely have someone <clears throat> That is wanting to reconcile with my lovely Sagittarian Ninth House Collective here. This is just the truth of the matter. So let's just break it on down now. We are nearing the end of a Mercury in retrograde. We got a lot going on in the planetary placements here. So, you know, we just got to roll with what's going on here. Can't tell you this. What are their current feelings towards you at the moment? The Ace of Wands. The... <laughs> Like they want to reignite some shit. Like they want to reignite this thing. How um how committed to they are how committed are they to a relationship here with Sagittarius? We have the hermit. This person has been reflecting on this. This person is reflecting. This person is doing introspection on that. Um, how do they view your past reactions? Uh we do have the uh the four of pentacles. This person they hold on to those, they value those. They also feel like that in the past in encounters that you had that you was that you was holding back something. But I do feel like that this person does value those past interactions. Um what what are their desires and, and intentions as it pertains to this? Um the four of cups. They this person wants to take advantage. Hmm. I can't wait to clarify this. For their intentions and desires. So they want to seize an opportunity for sure. They don't want to miss an opportunity. But I almost feel like that this person feels as if they've missed an opportunity. But it's like. This person wants to make sure that they don't miss the opportunity. So it's like. Are you sure? Like That's the energy that I'm getting here. And then the Queen of Cups is here at the bottom of the deck. So this person definitely has a lot of emotions for you. This is also someone that is trying to be more intuitive in their approach to you. Mm -mm, too many. Oh, wow. Too many, though. All right, Spirit, what's the potential future? What's the potential outcome of this connection? What is the potential outcome here of this connection? Where is this headed? Oof, we got the Three of Swords. The Six of Pentacles in the Sun card here is at the bottom of the deck. Um, there is an offer for reconciliation. I can't wait to get to this Three of Swords. See what's going on there. This could also be the outcome with the Six of Pentacles in the Sun card here. This person could be coming with some sort of gift to balance out and to... Um, like as a like this person is coming to offer more than just the page of cups as some sort of apology they're actually coming to give something tangible as a form of an apology to balance out the three of swords we'll have to dive in and see what's going on here but as it stands right here the three of swords is the outcome potential outcome here 
So let's dive in. Guys, if this is your message and you feel like that you are resonating with this reading, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below. So far, guys, the only major arcana that we have on the board is the Hermit card. So that does in indicate Virgo energy. So this person has you and or this person has Virgo highly aspected in your birth chart. All right, Spirit. So let's see. So... What are their current feelings towards Sagittarius at this moment? We have the Ace of Wands. What does this mean? What does this mean? The Three of Pentacles. Um, so if I'm being honest with you, this person's current feeling, like their current feelings towards you, is they, it's, it's, it is more sexual than, more sexual than anything here. Um, but this person definitely does want to reignite the passion, reignite the, um, spark between you all but somewhere along the lines this person isn't really willing to learn the lessons like they're not learning from the mistakes of the past yeah they're not learning they're not putting in the work that is needed in order to reap the proper benefit here so they want some sort of new passionate beginning without putting in the work without putting in the real work so this person may try to uh, so this person's current feelings is they could feel like that it'd be it's just better to just try to like like spool you to get this situation to go in another direction. I told you strictly sexual. This person like so this person is coming around for some sort of reconciliation, um, but like this person is feeling like it's more sexual like their feelings towards you is definitely sexual energy right now that and that sexual energy is really not it's not enduring it can't go the distance that's this is how they truly feel okay and all of that is indicative here for the uh, empress in the reverse as well um how committed are they to this relationship? This person is reflective on that. This person is reflecting on that. So let's see. They're doing some introspection on that. Uh, could also be this person is with... Yeah. See, okay. Here's what I... This person is doing some introspection because they want to offer their love cup. But there is something that they don't trust about offering their love cup. They're, they do have some sort of trust issue as it pertains to offering their love cup here. Mm. So we have the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Cups in the reverse. This person does have a lot of love. They do. They have a lot of love for this situation. But there is some sort of... There's some sort of trust issue here. They do... They don't really... There's an imbalance in the way... Yeah. Difficult, there's, so this could be meaning that they're... It could have somebody in the background that they're having a hard time letting go of. Okay. So this person does have love for you. But they're not ready. They're not actually to the point where they're fully ready to let go of something from the past. And so it's really giving that energy. If you got to choose between me and them, choose them. Because this person is still holding on to this per and that threw out. Yeah, judgment. I feel like the truth has been spoken, but I also just feel like that this person is still somewhat damn. So are you telling me that this person is coming towards you for some sort of reconciliation? But there's still this energy of them still holding a sweet spot for something else too? Does this person just hoard relationships? Or maybe they're reflecting on this. This is the truth. This is the truth. Um, I definitely feel like that this, as far as like how committed they are to this relationship, this person has some things internally that they have to work out. 
And we can't sit here and act like that the Three of Swords is not the likely outcome of this situation. And with me seeing that, I'm definitely feeling like this person, even though they're coming back around to you to reignite something sexual, um, there's still this energy of them still hold like they're not done with something from their past. If y'all broke up and they're coming back around for you, there's still something in their past that they're holding on to too. I ain't going to hold you. Um, so how do they view y'all's past intention, um, interactions? The Four of Pentacles here. I definitely feel like that this person does value the interactions that you all have had in the past. But I also feel like that this person um, feels like you've kind of like held back in previous interactions. Like they can tell that you have shifted the way that you are showing up with them. Why is the Four of Pentacles for the way that this person views the past reactions with Sag? Wow, Four of Pentacles is clarified by the Four of Pentacles. Definitely holding back um, the Hermit in the reverse. My goodness, the Four of Pentacles comes out with the Hermit in the reverse. The Hermit in the reverse is here. I mean, the Hermit is on the board and the Four of Pentacles is on the board right beside it. So there's definitely something with this Four of Pentacles in this Hermit energy. Um, how this person views your past interactions is that you you don't let them in. <clears throat> they feel like that you're you're not really letting them in. Um, there's something that you're holding on to that you're having a difficulty letting go. Yeah, Ace of Swords. They can tell by the past interactions that you've had. So you so they definitely feel like that you're still holding on to something. Um, from the past and that's causing you to be re very reserved and withdrawn so you're not really entertaining this person okay so let's see what are their desires and, and intentions regarding this connection why is the four of cups here what is their desire what are their desires <clears throat> and or intentions Regarding a uh, regarding Sagittarius, what are their desires and our intentions regarding Sagittarius? Why is the Four of Cups here? The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. This is definitely a missed opportunity. So this person isn't. With the, the, I mean, so this is telling me this person might come around for some sex, but they're not really trying to latch on to an opportunity to have long term. That's just what this spirit is telling me. Um, they're not holding on for an opportunity for long term. But if they can body rock, knock in the boots, then they'll go for it. Then of course they'll go for it. Why not? And I feel like, and there's something about this, like this person is going, this person will splurge for this. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? This is somebody that's getting, this is somebody that will splurge for this. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody that is saying like, I give you the time of your life, but I just can't give you, I ain't trying to give you long term. I guess like, yeah, this is definitely, yeah, this is definitely giving me the energy of someone that you, this is definitely reconciliation energy. So this is definitely something from the past. So this is someone coming around after you guys have not been seeing eye to eye. And you know, this person is saying, I can give you the time of your life, but I'm not trying to, I, I, I don't, they don't desire to give you long term. And the reason I don't desire to give you long term is because they're still holding on to, uh, to something from the past. Um, I'm not saying that they're necessarily involved in it right now, but they damn sure ain't done with it, okay? And quite frankly, I think they are kind of involved in it right now because somebody in that energy is very clingy, okay? Yeah, so I ain't gonna right hold you. This person will, honey. This part, Like I said, this person will spoil you for the night. This is somebody that will take you out and have a damn good time with you. And put it on you. And make you want to marry them. But they ain't going to give you a damn thing. They going to put it on you. Make you want to marry them. And they ain't following through on shit. But some good dick or wop. You hear me? That's it. That's why I feel like the likely outcome of this situation is the three of swords. Because I, I feel like that. Um, 
somebody may fall in love with the tangibility of this connection but this person isn't here for the long time they're here for a good time and they will provide they will provide the good time they will provide like they will pay to make sure you happy at the like at the end of end of they encounter you'd be damn happy but they're not giving you anything emotional okay why is the Three of Swords the likely outcome for this situation? Someone can drive a black a Nissan. The Six of Cups. Why is the Three of Swords the likely outcome? Because the Six of Cups is um it's all too familiar. It's all too familiar. Someone is unable to move away from the past. This person is still holding on to things from the past here. And I feel like that like that is the very thing that's going to stagnate the growth of this connection. And I feel like it's and, and, and this person isn't going to hide it. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's going to be obvious that this person is eventually going to begin to drop the ball in your connection because of their obligations to the past. You know what I'm saying? Like when it comes to you in the past, that past situation between this person for some reason is always going to put you at a disadvantage. I'm just being honest. Let's see, Spirit, close it up with the Cupid Arrow message. I don't want to drag these out too long. Um, I'm taking a vacation this weekend, so um, these are just going to be dropped over the weekend. Recognition. Um, I'm talking about, like, yeah, somebody is obsessed. Like, they, like, I don't know, like, retreat. Damn. Uh, this person is getting ready to offer you the time of a lifetime. Okay, like somebody's going to come in and offer you some real good fun time. And I do feel like that it is someone from your past um, and it is something tangible. And when I say tangible, meaning like it's going to it's going to like somebody is going to offer time and energy and effort into this. Unfortunately, it's it's a passionate exchange. Okay, and it is a time limit on it. Um, if you ask me, I feel like things will fizzle out really quick, no more than about no more I, I say you may get four or five good weeks out of this connection before you see things shift and you begin to see the past affecting the present here um but four or five good weeks um honestly I, it's for real for real three days to be honest with you three days at most Three weeks. No, spirit is saying three to five weeks. I ain't gonna be too. I ain't gonna be too shy. Three to five weeks. Three to five weeks. Three days. You might be side eyeing. I'm like, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, this is definitely someone that wants to spoil the shit out of you. Uh, they do recognize uh, who you like. They do recognize that your energy is different. Uh, but it's 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 not a it's it's not enough. To outweigh whatever they have with this past. Okay. Yeah. So it is definitely a need to like. If, like th there's a need to really. It says the need to gain clarity through the de decision making skills. So there's really a need to really gain some clarity here. And that's what this person is doing as well. Yeah. Look, pay attention to the red flags. See, I feel like that this person is going to throw some sort of, like, you know, go and have fun. Take a leap of faith. Just don't invest too much into this situation here. And Spirit is really saying in about three days, when a red flag is shown, don't you go overreact. But acknowledge it. And Spirit is saying in about between four to five weeks, you'll see it play out. Spirit is saying numerology and then we're going to close. No, gemstone. Thank you, Spirit. 222. Two, two. This does help you get in alignment here. What is the gemstone to help Sagittarius navigate this situation here? What is the gemstone? Thank you, Spirit. Petrified wood. 
y'all head over to the uh, website check out the blog blog post um, uh, uh, we definitely have a, a it's about a new beginning uh, let's see I'll look it up for you but we have petrified wood here and it's confirmation and it speaks about lost it's only after we're, we've lost everything that we're free to do anything. Let me check out this blog over here real quick for you. Um, the most powerful tools for a fresh start and I would also encourage you to check out um, why being vulnerable is a key to a genuine genuine relationship those are the ones that I would encourage you to check out with petrified wood coming out um, this also came out in the shadow message that's over there facing the insecurities discover the power of embracing change and I believe it's letting go um, but yeah, lost. It's only after we've lost everything that we're free to do anything. Spirit is in facing the insecurities is the blog post that will help you there the most. But go over there and meddle around on the website. There's plenty of blogs over there that may give you some extra medicine and helping you navigate this situation. Also, while you're over there, fam, uh, we have Rise 420. Um, that does get you a free mini read once you purchase a Zoom session um, that is expires the, on 420 at midnight. I think that is going to be today, the day that I'm releasing this for you all. I do believe I'm releasing this video on April the 20th. So that is midnight Eastern Standard Time. So please head over there. We do have some extended hours at this time uh, to compensate for you guys uh, to utilize that uh, coupon code. Mm. I love you all. I hope this message offers you some guidance on your journey. If it does, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button down below. Peace, love, and light.